talk about customizing the user interface. You know, this is really just to make your workflow a lot quicker. That way you can have the buttons that you use a lot or the switches that you use a, use a lot. Um, maybe not have them buried so deep and you can actually have them out on the um, visual so you can actually see them and click them uh, real quickly. So the first thing you want to do is just click on the preferences up here on the top menu. Um, and you'll see this button called Enable Customize. So if you click that, you can kind of show, you can see how that goes, that little white or black space goes up and down. So we want to enable that. So go ahead and click cu Enable Customize button. And then the, move to the second step here. Let's, um, let's show you how to actually customize that. So this is basically our docked area. So we'll go down to Geometry in the palette, in the Tools palette. And then let's click on DynaMesh. Um, and as we, as we do that, before you click, um, be sure and hold Control plus Alt and then click on that. And you'll see you can actually grab onto the button and you can start moving it. So you can click on it and move it up into that uh, blank area up on the top here and drop it, let go, and then uh, your button's there. So now you have kind of this customized area where you don't have to dig into, you know, a couple layers deep into the uh, tools palette to try to find how to dynamesh your objects here. So really nice, really helps your workflow and helps you move quickly throughout the process here. Um, just think of other things you can do. So if I look on the right hand side here, I have my navigation buttons. If I don't need those, I can um, eliminate those. And so we'll, rather than adding them to the top here, we'll actually take them away from this side menu. So I'm going to um, do the same thing, Control, Alt, and I'm going to click and drag, but I'm going to drag it to the canvas. Um, so the canvas is right here. So I'll click and drag and you'll notice it goes away. So we already know the quick keys for those. So in this uh, episode, basically we can just kind of eliminate those. We can add other things in those spaces and really start to customize this menu in, in the way that we want to and help you know show the workflow that you want to use for particular items. So, um, so if we come down here, basically um, if you click on the uh, preferences panel again here and you want this to open up that way every time, you can actually click and uh, under preferences and the store config button you see here and that will actually save it so the next time you open that up it opens up the way that you've configured it and that becomes kind of your default user interface or if you want to save it for multiple UIs you can click on that and it will save it um, so you might have different options for sketching or painting or whatever it is that you want to do so you want to change the interface well this is how you would do it in this area here so um, if you want to, if, if you just want to restore or reset everything back to the default um, setting, uh, once again, it's under preferences here and you'll um, just click uh, restore standard UI and uh, that will get you back to the basics there.